Get a job, ya bum. Welcome back to Let's Play Boho Yo-Yo Moo. Look at me dancing. Look at me dancing in the air. I'm dancing. Today, we are doing a boss fighting day. But there is actually something hidden down near the bottom of level one that I would like to get before even that. Now, it's a little bit of a run and we've seen it a dozen times now, so um, super speed. Right here, there is a dark room, just off to the side. And though I've been in here before, there's not a whole lot that I could actually do. The reason I couldn't do much in here is because I couldn't see what it is that I needed to do. But there is in fact a platform directly below me, and to the right is a door. Now, how exactly I will go about getting in there is another matter entirely. But it's going to involve me just falling off a cliff and dashing in. Um, you kind of need to be able to see platforms to get in here normally. But we just got another charisma up. We now have enough charisma to actually equip the shield ring and our sword. Pretty great. What's up, Marissa? Eh, you know what? I think it's around about time I start stocking up on large potions. I'm also going to buy a teleporter here. Because we have no more use for being in level 1. So instead, I'm going to assume this is level 1, 2, 3, and 4. Well, actually, uh, Yuyuko says it's level 1, 2, 3, and 4, so I guess I don't have to question it. So off to level 4! Go back in just to make sure it saves. We can now shortcut our way up here with our massive dash ability. Well, we can, but I'm terrible at this game. There we go. Wow, you guys actually take more than one attack. It's been a while since I've had to, you know, fight. But we're back in level four because there is still some news for us to do. And by news for us to do, I mean I said last time we were going to fight us some bosses. So guess what we're doing today? Stabbing some Eucharis because, like, they're getting in the way and being annoying and stuff. There we go. There's actually a whole lot of stuff up in the sky above us. But getting up there is not actually super useful. Now that we've got the da uh, Now that we've got the dash, we should be able to go up anyway. And go wherever we want. There's very little that can actually get in our way right now, actually. Is that all of them? This is totally a place that you can go, a secret tiny passage, and it will lead you to level four's special zone. And you guys actually don't even do anything too fantastic. I'm surprised. And now I can just kind of dash everywhere. And up all y'alls, I go where I want. Now as far as going into this area goes, I'm not entirely sure where it is that we are in need of going. But, uh, you know what, let's go to the right first and worry about going back later. And we'll collect all that money. Now that we have the shield ring, though, we may want to actually equip it. As soon as I figure out how. Boom! And now we will take negligible damage from most attacks. 
for regular running around, I still kind of want the experience ring on. It's one of these. I gotta figure out how to cancel. How do I cancel? How do I exit menus? Because down here, we have, I'll add, we have yet to see the boss of level four, and that's because she, or I should rather say they, are right down here. Now right here, by the way, is a safe spot. Almost. It's almost a safe spot. Just gotta scoot a couple pixels. But yes, this boss has a safe spot. Yeah, dang it, if I can actually get exactly on it. I'm probably gonna die, actually, just trying to get on the safe spot. Maybe it's further to the left. And to be honest, I have no idea how I would do this fight otherwise. Is it over here? Nope. I'm probably gonna die just trying to find it. Nope! Do believe I found it. Man, just on the very edge of where I can even hit them. This is gonna be a long fight. If this is indeed the safe spot, though, and it does appear to be... Yeah, it's looking like it is. Then I should be able to unequip the shield ring and equip the strength up badges. Badges. God dang it, Mario. Don't really need um, any of the HP pluses. That's all we can really equip, though. I guess it doesn't really matter. And now we'll do at least a little bit more damage. And now it's just a matter of slowly waiting out this fight. Uh, the funny thing about this fight against the uh, Prism River sisters. Funny thing about the fight is you don't have to fight them. In fact, you don't really have to fight any boss in here. You don't have to fight them to get to the coin. In fact, we could have gotten to the coin anyway. Uh, we could have gotten to the coin and left without ever even seeing the boss. The only thing that you get for beating the Prism River sisters is the lantern. The item that lets you see in the dark. It'll light up uh, dark rooms, so, well, you can see what you're doing. Um, again, funny thing about that is the item is just kind of sitting there in the upper left corner of the room. You can literally just walk in, take it, and leave, and never even, never kill any of them. For killing the others, you at least got an energy tank or something, but... For killing the Prism River Sisters, you don't get anything. You literally get nothing other than the little check mark on your profile that says you killed them. Um, oh, other interesting thing is as far as the coding of the game goes, each one of these three is considered a different boss. So there are legit three bosses in this room at once. You'll notice on the title screen there's a little head for all of them that for all of the bosses that shows when you beat the boss, a little head icon will show up. For beating the Prim Prism River Sisters, you will get three heads for beating them. And I think that's pretty decent now for having only killed two bosses. We're about to escalate that up to five bosses we've killed. I did say today was boss fighting today, and that means that once we're done here, we still have another boss to go. In fact, we uh, never did kill the boss of level 3, Alice. So the general plan for the day is to kill the Prism River Sisters and then work our way back and kill Alice. Once we've killed them, we're actually up to par, really. We've killed all the bosses that we can kill up until now. Except for level 5, really. And once we're done with these bosses, 
we're done with pretty much everything we can do. So, once we're done here, we are just straight up going to level 5. Now, of course, some people will say that this is poor boss design, that you can abuse this, and I guess to an extent it is, yeah, I'll be honest. But really, the controls in this game are not nearly good enough to actually dodge the bullets accurately. The thing about the um, actual shooter games is you have strict controls. You can move small distances in any direction you need to move in order to dodge. Can I hold down the button and keep attacking? No, I can't. And that lets you move exactly where you need to be to not get hit. And yet, while you're doing that, you're still attacking in the exact place that you want to be attacking. Like, attacking is almost a fourth, is almost a second thought. You don't have to worry about it. Whereas, in this game, you actually have to line yourself up and intentionally attack every single time. Your dodging isn't nearly as precise either, as maybe you have a little bit of a fair amount of control left or right, but that assumes the boss is and always directly above you and attacks in a way that can be dodged almost purely with left and right, since your up and down is purely jumping. So as such, the bosses... The fighting in this game is not designed around bullet curtain type dodging and fighting, so a lot of the fights really come down to really just kind of abusing the game mechanics and finding out a tricky way to win. That's about the only way to win, but it works out for the best, and you can actually beat all the bosses that way. Now that we've got the shield ring, we could probably come in here and... between the shield ring and a bunch of potions, we could probably just hard fight down one of these bosses, just focus fire one down until it dies, and then we'd probably die shortly after. But then we could come back in from our... Well, actually, no, we'd want to kill the one and then teleport the crap out of there. But then we restock and we come back in, and we fight more, and we can t probably take down the second one. In fact, the second one's going to be even easier than the first. But, yeah, that's, uh... That's me fighting a dude. Fighting dudettes. All three of them. And you aren't actually intended to just have to hard dodge absolutely everything, either. Um, not only do you get the shield ring, so you can take a lot more hits, but you have three small potions, you have three large potions, and you even get a resurrection elixir. I'm not sure if it is or is not. Something tells me the elixir is actually referred to as the Horai elixir, but it may it's a resurrection elixir. Which means once you get it, if you die, you just, instead of dying, you get your life refilled all the way. So there's a little bit of talking, and as seen, you're intended to be able to just tank some hits. Really. But that's what I got to say about the fighting, and that's what I got to say about the Prism River Sisters who were fighting. The Prism River Sisters, of course, were the fourth boss of the original Perfect Cherry Blossom Toho game. Interesting note is all the bosses in this game so far have reflected the bosses of Perfect Cherry Blossom. The first boss was Letty, the second boss was Chen, the third was Alice, and the fourth was the uh, Prism River Sisters. Now, the fifth boss, on the other hand, was Yomu. So... It's going to be interesting seeing what happens to that. I kind of want to just, like, focus you down. There we go. Actually get some money from that crap, yeah! And that is three bosses down! And for our trouble, we can come up here to the upper left-hand corner and get the Lantern. Which, once again, you didn't even have to actually kill the boss to get. But now we have it! Go us! That is a fake floor, so you can actually leave through there if you would like. Oh right, since I have my, like, strength everything on, I can just kind of one-shot everything. Which is pretty great. But, I'm actually going to go ahead and unequip them so I can re-equip the Experience Up badge. Then I guess I'll go ahead and equip the Strength Up and maybe an HP Up. 
The shield badge would be nice to equip, but right now, just for general running around, I think I'll opt not to. Wow, I can still one-shot them now just with the uh, one strength up badge on? Pretty great, yo. And that, dear friends and gentlemen, is the coin. Now, there are still three rooms down here that I've not been through, so I guess I'll go ahead and explore them. Uh, no real need to, I could just teleport out at this point. Killing them fairies, yeah! Eat it, fairy! We can work our way out of here, though. In fact, I may just teleport out. I may just teleport out as soon as I get these rooms cleared off. Yeah, this is the uh, other room. No, it isn't actually the other room. This is this room that I could have gone down from. We could have gone down and gotten the coin at any time, only we didn't! How about them apples? But all this done, I'm going to go ahead and teleport back to Remersa. Sup? I'm going to buy... I guess I'm just going to buy another one of those. I do want to save up for the Kurosame Blade. So I kind of don't want to buy too much. So that is that. We have successfully downed the Prism River Sisters. And we can get the crap out of Dodge. I kill you? I wanna kill you. Yes! And by getting the crap out of Dodge, I mean we can actually make our way back to um, the third stage, because as I mentioned, we need to go fight us an Alice! And now that we have the shield shield, shield ring, shield ring, that's the word I was looking for, the shield ring. Now that we have the shield ring, shield ring, um, we can totally shield ring up some shield ring, and, uh, shield ring us a shield ring. Along the way, however, there is something else that we can get. You see these platforms right here that we could not get to previously. We now can! And I'm being kind of careful because I don't want to, like, do anything stupid like I almost did there and get hit. Ha! That is an energy tank. Now, someone in the comments mentioned that the Yukuri blocks, that now that we got the pickaxe, maybe we could destroy the Yukuri blocks, but we cannot. The Yukuri blocks are not something the pickaxe can destroy. In fact, they have to be destroyed in a very, very specific way. Um, the Yukuri blocks only exist in two and or three places throughout the entire game. And you have to do something specific to unlock them. Unlocking those, as we saw there, actually has to do with the box that you saw below them. That's going to involve us just getting a little bit of a uh, runabout, though. Man! Why you gotta be that way, game? Where am I? I'm going up, yes. I'm going up because this is the direction that Alice is in! Alice is also pretty close to the entrance to level 5. Crap, that's Alice! I was unprepared. I apologize. But I can unequip everything, equip the shield ring. I've got three small potions and three large potions. I'm going to just kind of focus fire down and uh, hope I kill her. So let's see how this goes. Come on, Alice! Gotta outlast ya! I totally got this crap! I got this, yo! Gotta mash that button! Yeah! And we get an energy tank for our trouble. Now, with that being done, I'm going to go ahead and potion myself up some potion, and we can get the crap out of here! Even got a level up off that, that was pretty alright. 
So that is two bosses that we've killed today. Go us. Now I just kind of want to save. I kind of want to just get the crap out of here. And save. You know what? Up yours. Now this way down here, we have not actually been yet. And we've not been yet this way. English, I can. Thank you. Y'all are great. I'll be here all week. Man, how am I going to get through this? Maybe if I go through the top or bottom, perhaps. Ah, yes, here we go. Heck yeah, one shot in them! Oh, no. Not at all what I wanted to do. Did I get a strength up? I got a strength up from that last level up. Complicated as these rooms look, they're actually uh, very linear paths that we have to go on here. But, in going through them all... Now, I said we had no reason to go here yet. Technically, we could have gone here before, but we couldn't have done anything. Because it takes us to level 5. And level 5, we can't do much of anything in. We're introduced to newer, harder enemies. They fire but one shot, but they can sneak up on you. You see, they can go through walls. And they also take a beating. But it's not that hard to get here, at least. Say hello to Marissa.